Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, we are given a description of what the last days would look like in the Holy Bible. And just look around you right now, folks. We are there. Lawlessness is abounding, paving the way for the lawless one, the coming Antichrist. Yes, make no mistake about it. The stage is set after the rapture of the church for the world to accept the future Antichrist. Good is being called evil. Evil is being called good. People have been given over to a reprobate mind. Our kids are being exposed to the whole transgender thing when their brains aren't even fully developed. And we see a mass increase in kids confused on if they are a boy or a girl and wanting to change sexes. Drag queens are performing in elementary schools. Elementary, middle, and high schools are actually now allowing after-school Satan clubs. The spirit of Antichrist is surging all over the world. And if you are the one speaking out against these things and sticking up for the God of the Bible and his commandments, you are the evil one. So let's jump right to it. Uh, thank you to all of you that had sent me this. This is recently in from Prophecy News Watch, a recent article titled, Celebrating Evil, Satan Con Sells Out with Largest Satanic Gathering in United States. Let me read some of this to you guys. A major convention is coming up. It is being billed as the largest satanic gathering in history, and it is being held in Boston at the end of April. This year's event is taking place in Boston, Massachusetts from April 28th to April 30th, 2023, and it is titled Hexanacht in Boston, if I'm saying that right, otherwise known as the Witch's Night. On the announcement page, the Satanic Temple laments Boston Mayor Michelle Wu for her unconstitutional efforts to keep the Satanic Temple out of Boston's public spaces and announces that the event will be dedicated to her. In return, listen to this, purchaser, purchasers are promised a weekend of blasphemy and remembrance. Folks, we need to pray against this. Again, this is coming up at the end of April. And they're calling it the largest satanic gathering in history. And they're promising the purchaser, purchasers a weekend of blasphemy and remembrance. I mean, folks, things like this is going on all over the world. But when I saw that this event was sold out six weeks before the event is being held, and I'm looking on social media at these people getting all pumped up for it. Uh, I mean, this is just straight up, like I said, a weekend of blasphemy and remembrance. And this is the kind of thing all over the world that is, you know, the spirit of Antichrist is surging all over the world. And we need to pray against this, folks. You know, as soon as I saw this, I was reminded of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 to 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. You know, I look around right now at a world that's lost. I look around at a world that's confused. I look around at a world that's deceived. I look around at a world that is being conditioned to accept the coming future Antichrist. Again, the spirit of Antichrist is surging all over the world. And we need to pray against events like this, folks. But all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Belief. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. 
So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross of Calvary. Again, the sin that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.